So you're ready to go? Okay. So uh, this is uh, Physics 112, Lab Number 11, Reflection and Refraction. So for the next four weeks, we're going to deliver all the all the setup for the experiment that you're going to need, and then we'll give you a file uh, that you'll get an email that will allow you to analyze the data. But uh, Mr. Sylvester's here on the camera. He'll say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Stay healthy. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we're going to upload this to YouTube, and you'll be able to just fly through it, and uh, whatever you miss, you go back and look at it again and make sure you understand how to write the procedures uh, for the lab and then how to, how to analyze the data. That will be presented by each of the teachers um, when they Zoom, uh, Zoom broadcast uh, during the normal lab time. So uh, this is the very first lab, so normally we'll just go right in and, and tell you how to set up the experiment and collect the data. Uh, I will do a, a Zoom as well and I, all these videos will be uploaded to the respective classrooms in YouTube. So you can go right there and uh, download them or just look at them in YouTube and get whatever information you need from, from each of the videos each week. And if you have any questions um, during the Zoom session, uh, you can ask the instructor uh, either by video or audio or just typing in the bo at the bottom of the box. But more of this will unfold. We're just starting to learn how we're going online with physics labs now. Okay, so the first lab is uh, reflection and refraction. Uh, it's two experiments. Each experiment, you're going to change a control. So for the reflection lab, we're gonna use a flat mirror, and then we're gonna use a curved mirror. And a curved mirror can either be concave or convex. So when you get the data file uh, that came from a previous lab group, they chose either a surface that's shaped like this, which is concave, which means I can crawl into it like a cave, or it's convex like that. Uh, it's actually convex like, like this, and this is basically what I call a 7-Eleven mirror. So whenever you're in 7-Eleven, they want to keep an eye on you as you walk around the store, there's a mirror on the wall, and it's got that shape to it like that so they can see more than a 180 degree field. So we're gonna bounce light off the surface of the mirror and test the law of reflection, which is ancient. It goes back to Euclid, uh, the father of geometry back in like 350 BC. Okay, so the very first one we're gonna do, we're gonna do a plane mirror. Uh, I'm gonna show you what the setup is and then uh, I have a laser here so I can bounce it off at different angles but we actually used, the data was collected using a single slit light source. So you want to come up a, a little closer? So the equipment for the lab is this, kind, this light source here from Pasco. And can you see the front okay? And there's a single slit here that lets out a light beam, which is then going to hit a mirror. On the table here, this is called a optics table. So it's written right, right there on the side, basic optics ray table. And it's got a line called the normal line, which is going to be perpendicular to the surface that you're going to either pass light through a material or bounce it off uh, to study both reflection, which is the bouncing off of light off a surface, or refraction, which is the bending of light as it passes from one medium, which is, which is air to begin with, into another medium. And that medium is either going to be water, so we've got a dish here with water in it. We're going to let light pass through that, or we're going to let it pass through acrylic, this acrylic prism right here. So it's got a nice flat surface, so that when the light goes in, uh, it passes through to the other side, and then the back side is, is semicircular, which means when the ray hits that surface, it goes straight out. So there's no more bending uh, on the second surface because the ray is perpendicular to the surface, and when light enters the surface perpendicular to it, it passes straight into the medium without bending at all. That's called refraction, when light bends from going from one medium uh, to the other. Air is, is very close to being a vacuum, and um, so it, it creates the least amount of bending when light passes through there. But you may have seen a candle 
the flame of a candle and the different waviness around the candle, well, that's the refraction of air that you're seeing. So the light's coming from behind the candle, passing through hotter air, and then is getting bent a little bit as it passes through. So that's a familiar, familiar scene. Or when it's really hot outside, you might see some waves uh, across the surface of, of uh, like a big, a big asphalt uh, parking lot. On the back here, we need to put a couple pieces of tape to hold the thing still because you're going to rotate the optics table. It rotates uh, around like a lazy Susan. All right? So the mirror, this is the flat surface of the mirror right here. This is concave. Can you see that shape right there? And then this is convex uh, right there. We'll do a concave mirror. That's basically the kind of mirror that's used in a telescope uh, to collect light. And then that's your standard uh, flat mirror that you see in a mirror. Uh, see in a mirror at home. The important point though is when we let the light bounce off the surface, we're going to make sure that the light hits the same point on the surface every single time. And then we're going to fit, go ahead and measure what the reflected angle is uh, for each of the cases. So um, we're just going to demonstrate it and then we'll give you the data uh, for the experiment. So uh, I'm going to turn the lights out. Can you see it there? Yes, it's coming back into focus now. Looks good? Looks really good. Okay. So you can see the light hitting the optics table right there at zero degrees. In fact, you might even be able to read that it says normal uh, right there. And so that's the setup of the lab. There's a little black line that you can put the mirror right on there. And in fact, when it's on there just right, the circle in the front reflects into the back and uh, you can tell that it's nicely aligned. Okay? So you just move it until you get it right on the normal. You can see, you can see the rays bouncing off at 10 degrees right there because I don't have it lined up properly. So I'm going to line it up so the ray comes right back on itself at zero degrees. And then I'm just going to turn the mirror and you can see the various angles. So you would stop and pick an angle, so that'd be 10 degrees. And by the way, the scale is in single degrees. All right, every degree marking is labeled. So, and you can estimate in between uh, every degree line. So when you're talking about precision, uh, this has a point one degree uh, precision, okay? And so uh, I open it up like that and I get the various angles. I pick one, then I measure the reflected angle and so on. And you wanna go and make small and medium and large measurements. So you'll see the data set we send you uh, goes to like 75 degrees or so. Here I'll go full max and you can see with a plane mirror, the bigger the angle gets from the normal, by the way, the angle is measured from the normal, zero degrees is the normal line. And so right now I'm at about 65 degrees. And if I continue doing that, you can see it, it bounces off at, uh, at a very similar angle, uh, but you can see the reflection goes all the way to 180 just about 80 degrees right there. All right, so now I'm gonna to move to the other surface, uh, the concave surface, and when I set that up on the, on the table, I need to make sure it's just hitting one spot, and I need that one spot to be right on the line so it forms that perfect circle, like that. So you can't actually see the reflection of the circle, but it's, it's forming a complete round circle with the actual circle printed on the table and the reflection of the circle uh, in the mirror. And then again, we just do the exact same thing. It's not quite lined up because you can see it's bouncing off at about four degrees. I need to turn it just a little bit more to get started. And so that's it right there. All set. And again, we're going to go to different angles. You can see over here uh, to the right. So I got this set on about eight degrees and I'm measuring about uh, seven degrees or so, and then so on, all the way out. And again, you wanna go ahead and pick a range of angles, small, medium, and large. So that's the reflection part of the, uh, part of the lab. And again, you know, if you have any questions on this, you can always shoot us an email or, um, 
But that's probably the best way is just shoot an email or during the during the um, the Zoom session of the next class, you can ask during that time any questions you might have about the lab. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to actually start a new video. We'll do the refraction separately. So you keep them separate.